Amortization is the process of repaying a loan by equal periodic payments. This type of setup is called an amortization schedule. It shows the payment period or payment number, the size of each periodic payment amount, interest included in that payment, the amount of principal repaid in that payment period, and the outstanding or remaining principal balance after each payment. For example, suppose we have a $1,000 loan borrowed at 7.5% compounded annually and is repaid by equal annual payments over four years. At the beginning, period zero, we only have the $8,000 loan as the outstanding principal balance. Since we have four annual payments to pay off the loan, I'll highlight one and two here and drag the fill handle down to four periods. For the periodic payment, I'll use Excel PMT function. The periodic rate is 7.5%. Note that this is because payment and compounding frequency are annual. Otherwise, we need to do some calculations. Comma, then the number of periods, which is 4. Comma, then the present value, 8,000. And we have a negative payment value here because we entered a positive present value. I'm going to double click the cell, then make the present value negative so we can have a positive payment value. Enter. I'm going to drag the fill handle and copy it down to the next three payments. For interest, we take the 7.5% periodic rate times the outstanding balance at the end of the last period, and that gives $600. For the principal repaid in the first period, we take the periodic payment minus the interest in the first period. Enter. Now, since this principal portion of the loan has been paid, the outstanding balance at the end of the first period will be equal to the previous outstanding balance minus the principal repaid. So the outstanding balance after the first payment is 6211. Again, for the second payment, the interest amount will be the periodic rate times the outstanding balance. The principal repaid will be the periodic payment minus the interest amount. And the outstanding balance will be the last period's outstanding balance minus the principal repaid this period. I'm just going to highlight these period two formulas and copy down for the last two periods. Note that the outstanding balance in the second to the last period is the same as the principal repaid in the last period. But because the loan was paid off one payment period later, it accrued this interest amount, which when added to the principal repaid, equals the payment amount. Next, we can obtain totals by summing up the periodic payment. Then I can drag to the right for interest and principal. No total is required for the outstanding balance. Another way to obtain the totals is to note that total principal repaid must be equal to the original principal balance. And since all the payments are equal, I can also simply multiply the payment amount by the number of payments, 4. We can then obtain the interest by subtracting the total principal from total payment. Note that if you round these values to the nearest cent, there could be a few cents difference in the results. And that's it. Thanks for watching.